Hi, it's Agnes, and this is a requested YouTube from 326 Musician. Now, the question is about resistance, what to do with it, to get back to positive energy and attract beautiful things back again. So, anytime you have resistance about anything, about what a person has said, what they've done, what's happened at work, what's happened with a relative. It is all your response to I'm not getting what I want or I wish this was different, okay? So to get back to the positive energy, what do you actually do when that's happening? Well, sometimes in the middle of it you can't do a lot because you've already been hit with it and um, it's too late so what you can do then is as soon as you're on your own is put in certain things in place you might even be able to do some of these while you're in the middle of it uh, it just depends on you so what you can do is for starters just do some deep breathing because when something hits you emotionally what happens is you usually stop breathing or stop, you know, obviously you're still breathing, but you stop that really good breathing, the deep breathing, the relaxed breathing. You start going into shallow breathing. So the first thing I would do would go into deep breathing and just letting the resistance out, okay? Because the more you tense up, the more there's resistance, the more you breathe, the more you let it go. I know we've said this one a hundred times over, but in the moment, it's a hard one to remember because you forget. Okay. Secondly, what you can do is look at what you're thinking. So if you can pull yourself back and say, what am I thinking about that? Because remember, it is only your interpretation. Interpretation is only from you so interpretation comes from your beliefs it comes from what you think about the situation what you think about the person what you think about the event what you're thinking about work what you're thinking about a loved one it is your interpretation okay things themselves events themselves are quite neutral okay it's the meaning you assign to them which comes from your childhood, your history, your experiences, that that's the meaning you assign. So two people can see the exact same situation and interpret it in totally different ways, okay? So look at your interpretation of things. How am I interpreting this? Now this you might have to do later because if something's hit you emotionally, this component's a bit hard to do on the spot, okay? <clears throat> So ask yourself, what have I interpreted this as? Now I'm going to give you an example. The other day where I'm staying at the Airbnb, I, um, I came into the kitchen and usually there's, you know, there's breakfast is there. There's cereal and bread and jam and butter and fruit and porridge and honey and, jam, you know, all this stuff there. Now, for three days I walked in to this particular kitchen and there wasn't any stuff there. There was nothing. So I could feel myself getting annoyed and I thought, hang on a minute. After the third day, I could feel myself wanting to complain about it and I wanted to complain about it to the lady that was staying upstairs because she's in another room and we've both been here for a while. So I was thinking, oh, I hope I see her so I can say something to her. And then I thought, hang on a second. Let's rewind this. I'm looking at this and I'm annoyed. Why? What am I interpreting? I'm interpreting they don't care about me. I've been staying here a while. So they think that they can just, you know, not put in any effort. I'm not important. I'm not worthy or respected. Um, so all this stuff was assigned to this fruit bowl, really. And I thought, wow, you know. And then I said to myself, how could I interpret this differently? 
I could interpret this differently by saying they're busy, they've forgotten, they've got other people to look after and they will attend to it soon because they do care. Now, the next thing I did was I applied Neville Goddard and I just stood in the kitchen while I was making my cup of tea. No one was around. I closed my eyes. I visualized the fruit bowl full. I visualized the cupboards with all the fruit, all the, you know, the, the bread, the jam, the honey, the cinnamon, all the stuff that's always there. And I did it about four or five times in a row. Now, the very next day I got up because what I was doing was I was stuck in the problem of what wasn't there. And I was having emotions about that. So what I did was I focused on the solution. How would I like it to be? And then I rewound my emotional response, which was only my interpretation, which I realized, which really comes from the past, doesn't come from a fruit bowl and a packet of porridge. <laughs> really, let's face it. And then I was able to drop my interpretation and remember how great this place is. Remember how wonderful it is to stay here. Remember how, you know, they're, they're really fantastic. So, so many of the staff here are amazing. They always look after me. And I started saying that. I'm always looked after. They're really wonderful to me. I love staying here. Excuse me. And um, I just changed the solution the problem into a solution and made it real about four or five times in the silence while making my cup of tea closed my eyes imagined it and what I was going to say before was I got up the next day and that's exactly what was there everything was there so this is an example of letting go of resistance letting go of interpretation letting go of what meaning i have assigned to something that's not even true and dismantling my own emotional stuff and then creating the solution that creates a result now i know this is about breakfast and and a fruit bowl and some bread but the visuals of this can assist you to dismantle your own resistance and dismantle your own situations around different things. So yeah, I hope that helps you. Sometimes nutting it out as a particular situation is much, much easier for you to see and also how, how applying certain components of the law of attraction or Neville's techniques or, you know, to see how it works and then how you get a result. So there you go, lots of love to you, hope it helps and look forward to hearing your own little stories. Ciao, ciao.